Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to HM1 in 2021. So today's video is a little bit differently um, because I noticed that on the Navy Cool, they actually added a new tool that you can use to set up your study routine. Um, I found out about this on Twitter, of all places, on following my Navy HR. Um, so I'm going to show you what it is. It's basically an Excel spreadsheet that splits a study plan for you. Um, I think that's something weird that we just now got because it just it seems like something we should have always had with the bib. So I think it's really cool that that's something that the Navy put out for us. So I'm just going to walk you through how to get to it on the Navy Cool website. So I just click the navigator. I am enlisted. Looking for my advancement exam bib. HM, hospital corpsman. Wait for Firefox to load up. Click over here to advancement exam bibliographies. If you know how to get to the Navy Cool, just click it. Um, and then you see right here, NGSP Tool Beta. So click that. Click right here, the tool. It already it gives you a little bit of info about it. Um, I don't have a printer at home, so I'm not going to print this out. I'm kind of just going to play with it for now. Um, let's see. Four minute download. I actually think I already, oh, no, there we go. It's zipping right along. Oh, I think I already had it downloaded because I was messing with it earlier. There we go. Um, bibs, pre-order font. Nope, I do not have it. So let's just wait a second for that to download. I'll probably boost up the video, 57, 54. And I guess while I'm waiting for that, let me show you guys the bibs. Um, so again, this is also how you get to your bibliography. And I'm going to post up for those of you guys that are on my Discord channel. I tend to have a link to a Dropbox that has all of the updated bibs on it. I don't have it updated yet for the September bibs because I think they just came out over the weekend. But that's going to be coming up soon. Um, the Discord link will be in the video chat down below. Wow, my computer is going slow today. I guess next time I'll make sure everything is set up in advance. Let's see. There we go, September Hospital Corman Bib. The big change that I saw when I was looking at instruction is the primary care services instruction. I don't think that was on the last exam. Um, I know I made a lot of videos, but I don't think that one was even one I was looking at. Um, reporting defective unsafe dental material. That's new. Um, but other than that, it's kind of like the same old, same old. Tricare stuff, malaria, prevention stuff, correspondence manual. Oh, there's only one chapter of the correspondence manual this time. This is kind of the stuff I always look for when I'm looking at the bibs, like what's new, what's different. Because typically like the stuff that's new is what you're gonna to wanna to look at. So if you see the Excel file just loaded up, you have to click enable editing. So click that. Click enable content. And then it's gonna give you like a little welcome aboard thing. So click next. And it tells you like what the exam stuff is. This is a beta test thing still, so it may not be 100% updated. So what rank are we studying for? HM1, hence the name of the channel. Regular exam, active duty, rating is hospital corpsman. And it's cool because it's like the same file for everything. When do I want to start studying today? How many days for review for each topic? Let's say after each topic, let's give three days to um, to study. And another cool function on here is that there are times you can take for like anniversary, leave. Um, I'm not gonna have any of this filled out because um, I think I said on my other video, like I'm taking next semester off of college just so I can get promoted. Really trying to make it before I leave. So enter the Thunderdome. For me, I have question scores for rates. I think I have my profile sheet still pull up. Oh, nope, that was a cool syllabus for Liberty University. Your study plan to tailor. So healthcare admin programs management. There was 51 questions. My score was 37. 
next one up. We got preventative med, 43 questions. My score was, and my score was 23. That's why I studied so much for that this last exam. Um, obviously, my, my profile sheet that I just took isn't going to come for many months. Let's see, 19 and 12 for supply. Clinical support, 19 and 12, or actually for a logistics, 16 and 8. I'm not sure exactly what this part's going to do to it. I'm going to play with it some more. Um, clinical support services is 19 and 12. Healthcare and treatment. was 46 and 29. Then you hit ready. It's getting constructed. So this part's kind of weird. So you have to click a square and you have to manually put it by topics. Um, I kind of think that sucks that it's like that, but I do like that it forces you to kind of understand where some of this info is coming from. So let's see, reportable guidelines, that would be, and again, this stuff probably doesn't need to be 100%. Let's say that is community control, and you can double click and it'll set it. So suitability screening, that would be eligibility for patient care. Command inspection program, that would probably be QA. Let's see, where is that at in here? Quality insurance. So will the quality assurance program, infection control, that'll probably funder that communicable disease one, or actually infection control. I don't think it really matters where you click it as long as you're right with the topic. Um, let's see, M stuff, probably you should control disease, regulated waste, biohazard waste management, primary care, that's probably gonna be healthcare and treatment. Yep, healthcare and treatment. Augmentation program, probably general admin. Unsafe medical dinner, medical dental material. Maybe that'd be um, medical equipment. Emergency war surgery. Would that would fall under emergency care? Now, that's kind of monotonous, but I'm just going to go down the line with you guys so we can kind of build it together and see what it looks like. Field management of chemical and biological casualties. That would go under environmental health, I think. Uh, let's see, the joint publication. I, don't, I think on the top of my head, that's the prep med stuff, so I'll just put OSHA for those two. Hospital Corman. I really wish it separated up by the chapter, but seeing as this is a Navy-wide thing, not a rate specific, do what you can. I'm going to call that a &P. But I, we, as you guys know, there's specific chapters for all the other stuff. Um, let's see. Shipboard pest management. Let's call that environmental health. Or actually communicable disease control. Man med. Again, that's another weird one because man med would be all over. So let's just say health records, because I know that's one of the chapters we have to read. Manual of PrevMed. Let's put that over in occupational safety. Same with this one, because that's the water stuff. Let's see, equipment management manual. I think that one's pretty self-explanatory. Let's see, medical equipment. Decedent affairs, it's its own thing medical surveillance and reporting. You guys can already kind of see that it's heavily weighted towards PredMed and healthcare. It's like where I'm already kind of seeing that trend. Uh, medical surveillance, that's gonna fall under environmental health. Nutrition, what would we call that? I think I would call nutrition healthcare, or health maintenance, there we go. 
food safety, that's general admin. Well, actually, no, you'd call that PrevMed. Let's say occupational safety and health. Again, there's another Oc Health program. Parenthood stuff, admin. Deployment health. Um, I think we would call that, I, you could call, let's call that general ad. Records management, that would go under supply. Actually, health record management, boom. Correspondence manual, general admin. Try for service food code environmental health some of this stuff is kind of arbitrary and I'm just making a judgment call where I think it goes I don't think I put anything under clinical support services um, so I wonder what that's gonna look like when we do the thing because a lot of those are like combined with the Corman manual and whatnot um, the malaria prevention environmental health try care choices in the United States eligibility eligibility and that's it. So let's click our print study plan and see what happens. I don't have a printer at my home office, but we can kind of zoom in and see what this looks like. So if you look at the top, it's kind of hard to read, um, but it does say healthcare admin programs management. So it breaks it up by the topic and then it tells you what to study that day. <clears throat> I think it may be a little ridiculous that it has two different ones every day. So I think this probably isn't as good as like the one you can get for free off the Blue Jackets here yet. Um, I see major potential. I think the downside for this one is that it's Navy wide and since it's focusing on all rates, it's hard to split the individual references by chapter because I think that could probably be someone's full-time job. Um, when I looked at the My Navy HR website or their Twitter post, it looks like there was a, it was a first class somewhere in the Navy. I think it was like an LN1 or YN1, one of the two. And they created this and they actually sent it to Big Navy for them to turn it into a program. So I don't remember who that person's name was. I'll see if I can find the tweet and then give them the proper credit. Because I think that that is amazing that this is something you did for the Navy. Um, but I, I do think it may be kind of limited for a specific rate. Um, I'm not sure. If I'm going to use this one or the Blue Jacketeer one, I'm probably going to use the Blue Jacketeer 10 week one that they normally put out. Because uh, this one is just... Like, for example, if you're looking on day one, it's telling me to go over multiple deceit and affairs chapters and the, um, the augmentation program, which went itself not that bad. But look at some of this other stuff where it's like correspondence manual, chapter seven, plus man med, all three chapters. I think that could be broken down a little bit better. Um, but I do like that it has like a month of one bib. Um, you can do the next page, like a month of the next one. It does seem good that it splits them out the way it does. But I don't know if this is quite ready. You can definitely tell it's in the beta. And you look, because clinical support services doesn't have anything because I didn't click anything in those sections. So it's got potential. I think it was really awesome that the Navy put this out. I don't think it's quite ready yet for a study guide. I'm probably going to keep doing what I've been doing. So I don't think I'm going to change my study guide because of this. But I do think it's awesome that this was designed. And I hope this helped just so you guys can see another... Um, let me save this on my desktop just in case I do use it. Let's see, see all my StarCraft stuff. Um, HM Advancement. And I'll put this on my Discord too. Let's see, desktop. Save. And boom. I hope you guys got something out of this video. I am going to um, put the put all this on my discord so please give me a subscribe if you haven't um, I hope this helped